But I, I can appreciate yeah. that, but this was so important, Sonny, and so expensive. And they failed here. And they failed you. They were asked if Boeing failed them, and instead of answering the question, he gave a sales pitch on the Starliner. No one cares how many sensors it has if the ride's delayed nine months. In this next piece, watch Sonny tiptoe around the failure. But this was so important, Sonny, and so expensive. And they failed here. And they failed you. I wouldn't really characterize it as that. I, you know, the, like Butch mentioned, the spacecraft is pretty complicated, and the way they've integrated all the different types of systems together is pretty awesome. Putting people on spacecraft and launching them into space for expen extended period of times, it's hard. It's not just, you know, here, jump in, go up, and come back down. It is taking you to a destination with a rendezvous. That's, that's hard. And there was a lot of work that was put in. I mean, part of the reason we were trained for the space station is because we had multiple years of working with the commercial crew program and the Boeing company to, what is it like to put people in a spacecraft? This is, you know, a brand new spacecraft. It, you know, wasn't like it was flying a number, a number of years. So that's, that's difficult and that's hard. Um, I would say, you know, let's add to, the, to your question, um, there was a lot of testing that's required when you put people in a spacecraft. What is, you know, what is that all going to add up looking like? And there were lots of conversations about launch dates and what testing and looking at the data, analyzing the data, whether or not it was an actual test or a partial test of some of the systems that were on board and weighing whether or not that was good enough or not good enough. So.